Hey guys, what's happening? So with Windows 11 came a lot of upgrades and one of the biggest upgrades was made to the Microsoft Store because it got so many different apps. Apps for creating, apps for designing, apps for doing almost all the basic things also. And that's what this video is all about. Today we're gonna to talk about some of the best apps that I could find on the Microsoft Store. This is Gorang, you're watching Guiding Tech. Let's get started. First up, we have FX Sound, an app that is designed to holistically upgrade the audio experience on your Windows 11 PC. Whether you want a volume booster, a bass booster, or better sound quality, or easy to use Windows EQ, FX Sound offers controls for everything. It has a pretty neat interface and is one of my favorites on the list. You also get access to multiple presets with advanced controls such as clarity, ambience, surround sound, dynamic boost, and bass boost. FX Sound also targets the key areas of the sound on a PC to better optimize the sound coming out of the speakers of the device. So the sound seems clearer and deeper while also having much more balance. It doesn't require the app to be running in the background, but the results are very impressive. And the app is rather lightweight, so it would not affect the PC's performance in any way. Moving along, are you someone who uses their Windows PC with multiple monitors? Isn't it hard to increase or decrease the brightness of any of the monitors? Or if you're someone who uses their laptop with an external display, Windows 11 still does not offer any way to increase or decrease the brightness of the external display with a laptop. So this next app, sorts this trouble out. Twinkle Tray lets you easily manage the brightness levels of multiple monitors. This app inserts a new icon into your system tray where you can click to have instant access to brightness levels of all compatible monitors. So with one single icon, you control the brightness levels of all your monitors, be it an external monitor to, which is connected to your laptop or different monitors connected to your PC. Moving along, checking the battery that is left on the laptop while using a laptop is extremely important. And having to click even one single button to do that is an inconvenience. And that's exactly what happens on Windows. Well. This next app sorts that out. The name of the app is Fluent Battery Flyouts. It permanently places the battery percentage on the taskbar so that you can keep track of the battery left without having to go to quick settings. It also shows the estimated time for which the battery will last and can also show the graph of battery usage. Shifting gears to note-taking apps, there are so many of them. Notion, Evernote, OneNote being one of the most common ones. And well, this next app that I'm going to talk about is offering something that none of these apps do. And the name of the app is Liquid Text. It is a note-taking workspace that works as a PDF and universal document reader. You load up any PDF or document, take out the key points and facts and graphs and add them to a workspace. You can further add annotations to these points and graphs. And selecting any of these texts or graphs will open in the exact page on the PDF that it was taken out of. You can also squeeze these documents to just show all of your highlighted text or graphs that you have taken out of the PDF. You can imagine this like a huge whiteboard with all of your different notes and papers stuck onto it, shrunk into the size of your laptop screen. And further, you can easily export everything that you create within this app to a PDF, to a Word file, or a liquid text file, which can be shared with other users as well. Next up, let's talk about viewing images. Now, the basic image viewer that is available on Windows by default is perfectly fine, but that does not mean that you can't get an upgrade over it. And that's where this app called HEIC Image Viewer Converter comes in. It supports more than 100 different formats of image files, so no matter what the format, you will always be able to view it. It also displays the exact size of the image and can open image files with a simple drag and drop. If there are multiple images on one folder, all you need to do is open one of the files and you will be able to sift through all of these images in the folder using arrow keys. Although the viewer is free to download, paying for it gets you features like converting images to multiple different formats and printing HEIC images as well. Moving along, let's talk about another basic utility, increasing or decreasing the volume. What if you have multiple apps open and you want to increase or decrease the volume of one single app without affecting the volume of the other apps? Well, this app called Ear Trumpet does just that. With Ear Trumpet, you'll be able to replace the stock volume control feature with a better interface that not only lets you control the global volume, but also the volume of every app individually. This can come in really handy when you've got a couple of different programs running on your system and you need to change the volume of a particular one without affecting all of the others. And it comes in handy a lot more than you think it will. Lastly, let's talk about a music streaming app. It's called Reso and it promises to provide a better experience, better enough to be able to replace Spotify or YouTube music on your PC. 
It is one of the best looking music streaming apps available on Windows 11 with an extensive, no nonsense approach. It is extremely smooth and easy to use with almost all of our choice of music available on it, no matter the language. It supports keyboard shortcuts for every function. You can log in via Google or your phone number or your Microsoft account. You also get great recommendations, radios and playlists along the way the more time you spend listening to music on the app. You will also get synced lyrics even after minimizing the app on the taskbar, which is a great little touch. And there is an ad-supported plan, but if you want, you can also go ahead and get the premium plan at 99 rupees a month. And that's pretty much it. All of the download links to these apps will be found in the description box. And if you like the video, like it. If you love the video, then press the subscribe button. And beside that, you'll find a bell icon. Press that, you'll get notifications for all our videos from now on. This has been Gorang, and I'll see you in the next one.